Hello food fans, we're going to have a nice lunch today. I got my cowboy hat on. I'll tell you some cowboy stories, western movies and TV shows that I know a little bit about. And we're going to have some good food. We're going to have, this is called Complete's Beef Pot Roast. And it's uh, one minute in the microwave, does not need refrigeration. We'll have that for the meal. And I'll have a couple of salads and maybe even a secret dessert. So, let's get started. And I have my uh, black hat on now. I've uh, worn this in many different uh, movies and TV shows I worked in when I was an extra. I did not work a lot of Western shows per se, but quite often I was cast as a cowboy in a scene for a modern day uh, event that I was uh, visible in. We'll take a look first of all at um, myself and Melvin and Howard. That's a good movie. I recommend that. I'll leave some links down below maybe to my Amazon affiliate account in case you want to uh, see these movies that are still available. Melvin and Howard was about uh, Melvin Dumar and Howard Hughes. And I was in that. I was a cowboy in a wedding scene where I kissed Mary Steenburgen. And let me taste some of the food. This is very, very hot when it comes out of the microwave. And this is roast beef. And I can tell you right now the gravy is much too thin to be taken seriously. Let me get some of this. Mm. Good tasting. Good tasting. But uh, if I were going to focus a lot on the food, what I would do would be fry up some potatoes to put in here with this, uh, maybe a whole potato. Mmm, good. I also have some coleslaw here. Let me get this open. I love to get my coleslaw, cabbage salad. And uh, try some of that. Coleslaw came from Walmart. The uh, Hormel Completes probably also came from Walmart. And I have some uh, potato salad. Plenty of salad here. Potatoes have a lot of vitamin C. Uh, I've read that potatoes have more vitamin C per potato than the orange has for its uh, equal size. Uh, widely known information that oranges have a lot of vitamin C, well, so do potatoes. So we'll get uh, some vitamins here with this meal. This is a small meal for me. Also wore this hat. I'm pretty sure it's the same hat on Little House on the Prairie. Michael Landon was always nice to work with. Extras liked him very much, and working on his set was always pleasant, no pressures. I worked with Michael Landon probably between five and ten times total when I was in the movie extra business. And in addition to uh, Melvin and Howard, Little House on the Prairie. I worked in a movie with Ralph Macchio called Crossroads. I was a bartender. I'm on the right in the picture. And the man in the middle is Harry Carey Jr. Today he would be unknown. But he worked a lot especially with John Wayne. If John Wayne made a movie, apparently John Wayne was very loyal to his friends and Harry Carey Jr. was one of them. And Harry Carey Sr., I, I didn't work with Harry Carey Sr., 
but of course Harry Carey Sr. was the father of Harry Carey Jr. And Harry Carey Sr. was a silent movie star, one of the big box office draws of the early 1900s. The beef and vegetables taste pretty good. Thanks to Zach for uh, requesting that I talk a little bit about Western movies that I've worked. I worked only three productions that actually were cowboy type productions, but I've worked in a lot of different movies where they needed a cowboy for a scene, and I ended up being that person. And in this uh, Crossroads production, Harry Carey stops a fight from getting out of hand, and his two mean uh, bartenders are there to help him. It's a pretty good movie. Ralph Macchio used to be very, very, very famous. Some of the uh, cowboy stars that I got to meet, I was able to meet people who were big stars in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, the stars of cowboy movies. You have some more beef stew here, or pot roast. Basically the same ingredients as beef stew. Time for some root beer. Very hot here today. The heat index is between 105 and 110. Monty Hale was a person I met in the 1980s. He had been a cowboy movie star in the 1940s, 1950s. He's one of the few people that I've known in the business who is taller than I am. He was six foot six inches tall. He was always nice. His wife was Joan Hale, and she was. Um, Probably the uh, person most in charge of the Gene Autry Western Heritage Museum. I do highly recommend if you ever visit Los Angeles, see the Gene Autry Western Heritage Museum. You will also see Griffith Park on your way to the museum. And I don't know if the merry go round is still there or not. The museum has lots of very excellent displays of Western life in the 1800s, what it was like. I visited Gene Autry's office. Gene, Gene Autry is one of the cowboy movie stars of the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. Gene Autry has five stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He's the only person who has five stars. He has one for recordings, one for TV, one for radio, one for motion pictures, and one for live shows. And Gene Autry at one time had the second most popular record, the record that had the most sales of any vinyl record. It was in second place to White Christmas, Bing Crosby's White Christmas was number one. And Gene Autry's recording of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was number two all time. But uh, that sense has been uh, uh, 
succeeded by some Michael Jackson albums. Gene Autry owned radio stations, he owned TV stations, he owned the California Angels baseball team, and he was a nice person. Also, I worked with uh, John Houston, who directed Treasure of the Sierra Madre, which was a Western movie. I worked with him when he was directing Annie, and I was playing some country music songs and Western music songs. I had the guitar on the set, and it was a hot day like today, and myself and two other musicians who were in the Screen Extras Guild were putting on a show for the cast and crew between takes. If they were filming a scene, we were, we were quiet. But if they were moving the camera somewhere, we could make a uh, sound of music. I was lucky. I got to uh, meet and see a lot of different uh, famous people. Eddie Dean was a cowboy movie star. I worked with him many times in uh, shows, musical shows. He was a singer, songwriter. He wrote two hit songs. One was called Hillbilly Heaven, the other was called One Has My Name, The Other Has My Heart. And that second song was written by Eddie and his wife, Dearest. Eddie was one of the nicest people I've ever met. Hope your day is going well. What have you been doing? Don't mow the lawn today if you keep from it. It's, uh, hot day out there. You know, the Hormel completes uh, pot roast. The gravy is too thin. I do like my coleslaw. First, a sip of root beer. Root beer is good. And another one. bit of uh, coleslaw here. A little bit of potato salad. I also worked a movie of this one that had cowboys in it. I wore a cowboy hat in the movie, Smokey and the Bandit 2. It's hard to find me, so uh, if you find me, you're, you've got good eyesight. And I talked with Jackie Gleason for a while in the movie, and he was a pleasant person. I, I've seen him do his stage show, and I've uh, watched him act in movies like The Hustler. Jack Gleason was a very nice man, and he was very pleasant to me when I asked him for his autograph, and I got a picture taken with him. Now, it's time for the secret dessert. And the secret dessert is no longer a secret. It is a little pie. Let me tear this open. These boxes get harder to open as I get older. But this is a nice little pie. This is a blueberry pie. Mm. 
very good pie. And I shall have the pie with the blueberries in it. Blueberries are hard to grow here. They had some blueberries growing on this lot when I first bought this house. <coughs> But those blueberries disappeared and did not come back. I think this is seventy four cents. It's your 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 seventy four. If you like cowboy movies, you would enjoy working in one. I never did ride a horse in any of the movies that worked. But it was fun to dress up with a cowboy hat and do some scenes walking down the old uh, sidewalk in front of the general store. I also worked Father Murphy, and I worked a TV movie called No Man's Land, which was where they had a story about a female sheriff. You good food. Thank you for stopping by. Stay cool if you can, and thank you for watching. And the song that is sung probably most by the most number of people each year, the song that gets sung at least once a year for everyone. We'll do it in the key of C. C chord there. Happy birthday to, then we're going to a G chord, to you. Happy birthday to, back to C, you. Happy birthday, and then we're going to go to the F, happy birthday. Happy, and then back to C, happy birthday. Then the G to you C chord there at the end. Now here's how it goes. Just duplicate the fingering. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you.